So I'm welcome to another video and today we're going to be tearing down the Model O wireless here from Glorious. We're going to weigh each individual part so you get an idea of what each part weighs if you want to do weight reduction which we've done already. I'll be posting a video very shortly for that and then we'll be showing you how to tear it down if you want to repair it if any breaks so or you want to make some modifications yourself or you can just be interested in how it fits together. So two screws here in the base, they're both at the bottom of the mouse here, so you need to take two skates off if you want to tear it down. You'd have to destroy all your skates in one go. You could use a hairdryer as well to take the skates off or lighter fluid. For this video I'm just taking them off without any of that though. There's two clips in the middle of the mouse you want to be careful of when you break this apart and it hooks in at the front and then it just pulls apart quite easily here. The next thing you want to be careful of is the RGB ribbons at the back here. Don't pull it too tight or you'll snap them and they have like a little lift that you pull up and then the RGB cable pulls out. And the same on the side one, there's like a flap that you lift up and then that smaller ribbon cable that's attached to the top buttons here also unclips. So if you want to know what's different about this channel, this channel will provide you all the data and statistics to get the edge over your rival gamers. We do things like glide tests, latency tests, as well as review mice pads as well. So on the PCB, there's three screws here. And then like on the normal model, you've got the RGB, but that fits inside the scroll wheel. Glow is here using the same scroll wheel as in all the other mice. Is an OEM one, you can actually get a cheap replacement if you need to as well. So this stream was done while I was on Twitch. If you want to follow me, it's Bearded Bob on Twitch. I'm doing a lot of teardowns on stream as well as weight reductions and modding. So go check me out. If you want to see these live or if you're on YouTube already, just subscribe and you'll get the updated edited versions like this going forward. The rubber on the score wheel doesn't come out here as stock. So taking a look at the PCB, it's nicely constructed here, nice and compact. This is USB-C, which is also good to see here from Glorious here. A lot of people have been complaining and wanting a USB-C connection instead of a micro USB, so Glorious have provided that. I'll be doing a full review on this mouse as well, which I've not done yet. And I said I've already done a weight reduction here on stream as well. This is what the base looks like, nothing different here really. Standard weight reduction base here, nicely put together there. So Glorious here, we've got the PCB in the top of the shell here that pushes against both sides to stop the flex, which is good. A bit like the Razor Viper. It's got one screw in it. And then you've got the battery up here as well. You've got Hawano green switches on the side and one for the DPI. Battery on this one is quite large. As part of the weight reduction, we'll take a look at trying to shrink that down a little bit to take some weight out of it. Got a weird sticker on here, I'm not sure what that is. Maybe something to do with heat. The battery's stuck down with some adhesive, so it's like a foam adhesive they have to scrape off. It's a bit weird. Again, I'm not sure why that is. Maybe it's something to do with heat or I don't know. She's in a 3.5 volt, 450 milliamp battery. And 
you see you've got a bit of a side block here raising one of the side switches pretty nice construction here from glorious the foam though does make a bit of a mess So inside the main shell, you can ping off the rear panel like you can do on the other model though. There's two clips at the back, just keep pushing those, eventually it'll come off nice and easy. The main left and right buttons again are attached like the other model though, which I've done already. But there's two clips in the middle that you press outwards and then the buttons then will just lift off. They do require a little bit of force, so be careful that you don't snap them off. And then you've got the diffusers on the side of the shell here. These normally just ping off one clip at the front. You can just push off. These can all go back on, no problems if you want to put them back. And the LED strips are stuck down. You can just peel these off. They will go back on. There's plenty of stick on these. This is one of the weaker bits on this model though. I'd say the side buttons, there's a clip on the back right side, but on the front there's a tape which holds it in place, which I don't particularly like here. There's like rubbery tape. Lois should have done a slightly better job here fixing these switches in. Then we've got the DPI button, which is plastic riveted in. And you've got these mirrored side stickers here, which you can peel off, which give the RGB that extra pop. And that's the shell. So the DPI button is plastic riveted and it does pop off eventually when I was messing around with it, but I wouldn't take this off unless you really need to. It doesn't like it'll go back on too easily. You might have to put a bit of glue down if you do that. So this stream was done while I was on Twitch. If you want to follow me, it's Bearded Bob on Twitch. I'm doing a lot of teardowns on stream as well as weight reductions and modding, so go check me out. If you want to see these live or if you're on YouTube already, just subscribe and you'll get the updated edited versions like this going forward. And that's it, that's the Model O wireless here torn down. I'll be dropping the video very soon for the weight reduction. And if you haven't already, check out my Logitech G Pro wireless super light teardown and weight reduction video. That's already out. I'll put links in the description as well. So catch you later. Thanks a lot. Bye bye.